Hey, happy Tuesday. So today I wanted to pop in and ask you, are you asking great questions in your business? So to help you in your business, but also to help your clients, help you with your products and services, but also to help you to learn. Because I think that asking really great questions can save you a huge amount of time. So if you're watching the replay, then you can drop any comments below, any questions and let me know. But I've kind of been in a bit of a asking frenzy in the last couple of weeks as I'm starting to plan for 2018. So when you go into planning, asking questions so that you know that your planning is bang on target for your audience, what you want to talk about, who you want to talk to and how you can help them, I think is really, really important. So a couple of things that I wanted to share with you or a couple of examples is that recently I asked my subscribers uh, three questions. Now, first of all, when you are asking anybody for answers, then asking really short, sharp questions that they can literally click a button and answer whatever it is that you want to know about is going to mean that you're probably going to get a much better response. So I used SurveyMonkey. I sent three questions to my subscribers and I said, what do you want to know more or get more from me next year? And I gave them a couple of options, which is all around the topics that I talk about. So branding, building your business, getting more confident, using video, etc. And the response was awesome. So I think firstly, I think people like to be asked what they want, especially when they're subscribing to you. So if they have given you their hallowed email address, then make sure you're providing the kind of content that they want. So that's the first thing. Ask short, sharp questions, something that's easy for them to respond to, and obviously make it completely tailored to what it is that you provide. And I think that it, well, the survey I used was free. So once again, it doesn't cost you anything to ask these questions because I was only asking three. The second question that I asked was, what is the number one problem that you're having in your business at the moment? So the most important thing to you. Once again, awesome content for my vlog, my podcast, whatever I'm providing and writing or talking, doing videos about to my audience. I've now got a huge list of what their number one problem is, which is great. So if I can answer that question, I will. But if I need to get a guest on who is more of an expert in that particular area, then that's great for the podcast as well, which if you haven't checked out, make sure that you do. And I'll put the link above. But the third question that I asked them was, which platform or where do you engage most with me? And that was really insightful as well. So the majority of people said Facebook, which is why I'm here. So obviously people are reading my subscriber newsletter. I'm also on Instagram at Connection Exchange. Uh, so if you don't follow me already, make sure that you head over there. But Facebook was the number one place that the majority of my subscribers who responded to the survey wanted to engage with me. So my content strategy for next year is obviously to be doing more on Facebook because that's where people want to see me. That's what's easy for them. So it's good to just think about the fact that your subscribers or your audience are going to consume you at different times on different platforms. So I love Insta Stories, I love Facebook Live, and I always send out a subscriber newsletter. But I like to make sure that I'm kind of covering all my bases just in case somebody misses one. So think about your different points of contact with your audience. The other thing that I did recently, and this is around saving time and also learning from others. I just think when you're about to start something new, learning from other people who have been there before and done it before you is always really great, which is why having a business coach is fantastic as well, because there's somebody that They've already done it, they've been there, and they can help you. But when I was starting Play Big Brand Bold, the podcast, I went into the She Podcasts uh, Facebook group and I was asking a whole lot of questions. So one of the things that I've done is that I front loaded at least 10 interviews so that I've got all of this content for the podcast ready to go. But I just thought if I release it every week, I'm going to run out of content pretty quickly and I want to have a variety of content 
for my audience. So I was asking in the She Podcast Facebook group, who releases content on a fortnightly basis and has it had any impact negative on you growing your audience, your engagement, etc. Because I think that is an assumption. If you don't do it every week, it's not going to grow as fast. You're not going to get the engagement that you want, etc. And quite a few people in that group actually said to me, they've released their podcast on a fortnightly basis. People have waited and been anticipating that release and their following has continued to grow and their engagement is there as well. So once again, it was an assumption that I had. So asking the question has really saved me time and you know also save my sanity because it means that I only need 20 odd 24 podcast episodes and then I'll also be doing things like this Facebook live and once again repurposing your content is so important so for example with this particular live and what I do all the time is that this live will go onto YouTube and obviously I'll use some keywords so people can find it. It will then also go onto the blog as content that people can find or I'll be sending out to my subscribers. So you don't always have to be creating brand new things to all your different channels. Create smart, smarter work that you don't have to work as hard and then share that content wherever you can. But asking a lot of questions can save you so much time and in the end, I'm sure money as well because your time is money. The third thing as well is that I've just gotten really brave asking people who I wanna interview on the podcast. So just sending off a really lovely request saying I would love to interview you because of X and at the end of the day, no expectations, no disappointments. If they can do it, fantastic. If they can't do it, that's okay. Maybe I'll ask again next year. But I don't put any pressure on myself for things to be successful, for them to say yes to the questions that I'm asking. When you start to get into a mindset of just asking without expectation, you'll find that one, you'll learn a whole lot more, two, it's just more fun and less pressure, and three, you'll find that you'll get a lot more yeses and a lot more of the answers that you need when you need them as well. So asking questions is great. The other thing that I've done is that I've been listening. So I've been listening to a lot of the requests I've had. I get lots of questions around the video tech that I use, how I'm vlogging, how I'm just doing my Insta stories, my Facebook lives, whatever else it is. And so because I've had so many questions, I'm now gonna be running a workshop on the 7th of February in the city next year, which will be a full day of visual content creation how you can vlog on the go, how you can use audio, how you can do more Facebook Lives, how you can use the technology, so different video tech as well, uh, just to have more fun when you are creating content and really pack what I call a content punch so that your audience is loving what you're creating as well. So check that out on theconnectionexchange.com events. Uh, on the 7th of Feb if you are interested in getting more creative with the content that you're building for your audience as well. So when it comes to asking questions, those are just some quick lessons that I wanted to share with you today is first of all, ask your subscribers and your clients what they want more of, asking them where they're engaging with you as well as what their main problem is. Three super quick questions, it's all about them, it's not about you. And you'll find that people will answer more questions when it's about them and not about you. So have a think about how you can ask those questions. If you're trying something new, ask people who have done it before you so that you can save a year's worth of learning and learn from them. The third thing is ask without expectations and you will find it so much more fun and you'll get more yeses than what you expected. And then listen to what your clients wants, want and it can really help you to create products and services in your business that you know will be in demand. So that is just my Facebook Live for you today. I hope that you are having an awesome day and enjoying this amazing weather. Thanks to those who joined live. And if you've got any questions, just drop them below. But I will put the podcast link, the workshop link, and my subscriber link if you want to sign up and you haven't already. <laughs> Have an awesome day and I'll speak to you soon.